The journey begins at 5.50 in Arundel Station with a flat white. We are on the second leg of the trip. Faro train station to Lagos. The journey is complete at 4.30. Train, plane, bus, uh, train and taxi. Thermals, waterproof, waterproof socks, toiletries, camel pack, iPhone charger, socks, clothes. We will set out towards the ocean. One of the sites. So this is an introduction to the Minio Historico marker that we follow. Follow the Polish flag and you'll get to uh, San Vincent. So uh, we have the Atlantic Ocean on the right here, is that right then? Yeah. yeah. And a 24 kilometer trip ahead of us down here. Mm. We are now heading off the main road onto the beaten track. I am failing already because I don't have walking sticks, which Mim has. We've just come from Echifana. We're going to Kirche We have to get there before it starts. We've done about half a kilometre. <laughs> See, me and Mim are like uh, pseudo-Portuguese people. Mim's, Mim's learnt Portuguese herself as an adult. I just kind of wing every word I, I say based on Spanish. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Next one here. Here we are. That's it. So we're on the right track. Let's go. He's agreed now that he does need 1.5 litres of water, but he made fun of me for like 20 minutes this morning for saying that. Here's a stack of hay there. That is where the pigs are not allowed to sleep. A pig must not sleep in a straw bed, but some pigs are more equal than others. Yeah, so I got this, uh, I brought this stick with me on the, on the plane, but they, act, they actually charged me to put it in checked baggage. What I realised is, I could have just simply found a stray piece of uh, walking stick on the route, you know. Um, there's one there, look. Me and Mim have overeaten. We're down to one sandwich. Mim's down to half a pack of peanuts. We're only halfway. Let's go. We have reached civilization. You can see now me and Mim are free of our bags and walking sticks and me and Mim are going to buy some food and Mim will cook it. I will someone for some hummus. Okay, so we need stuff for breakfast. Oh my god. Alpro oat or Alpro soya? There's a range. Not only does Mim have Alpro soya, she has almond and oat. What? He serves himself first. Oh shit, <laughs> so rude, isn't it? How rude of me to serve myself first and not Mim. 
<laughs> just slaved. <laughs> yeah. It was day two for me and day ten for Mem. I'm so tired, Bethan. There's the toast. Mem will now butter one. The toast is actually made of air, we think, because it's so light. <laughs> Mem is going to post her postcards. I'll be back before they arrive. Because she is still in the 90s and I'm going to get a coffee. Mim's suffering last night to cook some pasta. There's a vegan place right there. Look, it actually says vegan on the wall. It says it's actually on someone's house. And it means to go left. On the Camino Historico. Just be such a forced beach experience because I just I'm so tired. enough for this video. We just don't talk. Oh, not enough. The first food break of the day. And me and them having one of these, Mim? Palmeiras. Palmeiras. Mmm, good. Mmm. Really good. <laughs> me, me and Mim have stopped here. And I've, I've informed Mim that we're going to have to go back at least to, you know, a hundred feet just to film walking this way and Mim's not up for the task, are you Mim? Why do you work in feet? What is all this Mim? Well, you can't get away from the old slate. <laughs> Where we go up like there is... And now we're going to have a sandwich next to the pile of horseshit. Let's go. Me and Mim have come to a uh, cactus plant with prickly pears. Now, the only problem is that there's a residence here. We're going to have to be quick and stealthy. Don't touch it, Matthew. <laughs> it's not prickly at all. I said roll it Good. on the sand. Right. So they're really small and you can't see them. Go on, you try and how, how do you want? Roll it in the sand now. Why? Bethan has sent a message on how to eat the prickly pear, so we're gonna refer to her text. They're very small, fine needles that really hurt. Yeah, look, oh, they're all and, on my finger. And look, you can't can you see? see them because they're look. so small. Oh shit! Oh, I would, I've done the same thing as you. <laughs> Country roads take me home. And then I did this. And then Matthew joined me here. <laughs> Life has improved, comrades. Listen, 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 listen. Four legs good, two legs bad. Mim is off finding a geocache. It's right here, somewhere. It's a geocache. Matt, we're here, is it? Pack tongue, Mim. I found nine geocaches on this mm. trip. I will have a single plum floating in perfume, served in a man's hat. Me and Mim are now working on the extremities of, of the day. As you can see there, the sun far gone, distant behind a, the wedding cake of the sky. Okay, Mim. Mim just behind with a torch. Are we there, Mim? Oh, yes. 
Uh, do we know where the hostel is? Uh, I've got a map. Onde estamos agora? Estamos neste mapa ou não? Esta tarde. Posso? Isso é o que sai. Vamos ver onde é que está o conto do Bluefoot. Esta? Ok. Ok, então eu fico em perto. I don't think that was right because we came from the north and he's indicating that we came from the east. Special thanks to our friends in UKIP and other right-wing um, British political parties. We have the pound is 95 for the euro, so I will be having to accept that conversion as my hotel is over there in an extremely small derelict town in Portugal <laughs> and I have nowhere else to stay. Muito obrigado. Sail far away from Lullaby. Me and Mim had attempted to cook a strudel and chips. I've given up on that strudel. <laughs> that madness strudel. Mim went, Mim went more than happy for a few <laughs> minutes and she bought baguette, strudel, chips, garlic bread. I just was trying to make what I would have just got in the restaurant. B, we need to talk to you about those prickly pears. You did not stress enough that we weren't to hold them, B. I said like three messages about how much they I said, do you know how to eat prickly pears, B? Yeah. And she said, yes, just don't touch them. Three exclamation marks. It's so annoying that you didn't listen. It's not prickly at all. They hurt a lot and you can't see them. They're so small and they hurt. Bethan said roll it on the sand. Right. She said they're really small and you can't see them. I repeatedly said that to you, Mim. They're very small, fine needles that really hurt. It's so horrible if you're hurt by them. It's so horrible. <laughs> but then he, he picked it up with a cloth bee, but then but then he looked at it and he saw that he couldn't see any of those needles, so he just picked it up with his hand. Oh stupidity. I told you, Miriam, to roll it in the sand. Roll it in the sand now. Why? I'm so annoyed that I didn't listen to Beth and I'm like covered in, in those prickly pear needles. So um it's it's, it's the next day. And uh, Mim has said that she's had a sleepless night thinking about the strudel and chips. Oh, God. For breakfast, me and Mim are having an American-sized portion of cereal. This is just like when Denmark, when I went to visit B, all the meals were filmed in case something was said. We have gone the wrong way. And uh, Mim is just on her data spending a pound a minute to check how we can get back on route and maybe follow this new route instead. I think we're here. I think we're on this road heading to Spain. We might be heading to Spain instead of uh, instead of the Algarve. The great irony is that Mim used to run a map and compass club to teach kids how to read maps and now here she is stuck. So the joke's on her now, isn't it? Especially for that membership fee she used to charge. I didn't charge a membership fee. We have a potential other stick available. Two sticks. It's more Gandalf than, than <laughs> Dumbledore, isn't it? That's shit. In English, the gut. Cat tongues. We've had to improvise. It's uh, very hot. We have Mim struggling to walk backwards with that camera. <laughs> I really it's great am. To see her struggling. Uh, <laughs> running out of water. Left or right? There's no welcome sign. It ends right here. So that's where you started, Santiago do Casim. Yeah, this post is the end. I'm so tired and so proud. Eleven days. I'm so strong, you know. Woo woo woo! It was all worth it. Was it? Yeah. <laughs>